as the Tar Heels have first possession. I think that's going to be a strength of the North Carolina Tar Heels this year is that experience. Great give and go. Baycock to Davis. And R.J. Davis on the board early. He's going to be another super, super important player. That's one thing that they're really trying to get out of this ball game tonight is just to compete. You come in, see R.J. Davis knock down a three. Davis with the steal, looking to go coast to coast, up and under, and will finish. That's an incredible finish by R.J. Davis. And I think that is where we see the experience. Knows that he's going to have a man trailing, coming for the block. Is able to get himself in position to get to the other side of the basket, use that as protection, draws the foul, and finishes. It's the R.J. Davis show here early as St. Augustine's is M. Zane. High and Baycott battle. High gets the rebound, and Carolina back on the offensive. You got a chance to talk with Hubert as RJ knocks down a three himself. And he said in that to them. As we see Cormac Ryan get the steal. RJ from the left, RJ from the right. And I'm not 100%. Ryan defending him. He'll hand it off to Johnson. There's the trouble with the switching. And it turns into a turnover. That defensive pressure is really, really giving St. Augustine trouble. Big mismatch down low. Bigcock takes care of business. Look at R.J. Davis again. Just Take a look at some of these threes that Carolina, or more specifically, R.J. Davis has just hit. Now, R.J. Davis hitting these threes right now, scoring 17 points early in the game is great. We know that we're going to get some scoring from R.J. Davis, but this is just one facet of how he's going to be an incredible, incredible leader for this North Carolina basketball team. He was the best three-point shooter a season ago for Carolina, a little over 36% from beyond the arc. I saw him 